lot of questions came in about who's closing the door, whose arm is that. And I actually misspoke. Uh, I believe it was a female's arm who was in the, the, the victim of the assault there. Um, it's actually a male's arm. And uh, investigators, investigators had it right. I just had it wrong in one of the earlier interviews. Um, but it is a male's arm. Everybody a welcome in. And let's discuss Rachel Morin, the mother of five that went for a, a walk on the Ma and Pa Trail in Bel Air, Maryland, and the next day as she was found deceased. DNA linked a suspect from Los Angeles that assaulted a child. And what a male arm at the door on the ring cam of the suspect? Hmm. And with that, uh, let's get into it. Before we get into the suspect, which the DNA belongs to, let's talk about who Rachel Morin was. She was 37 years old, one of five siblings. She was an originally from Dover, New Hampshire, and she lived in Bel Air, Maryland, for a long a time. They say on social media, Rachel Morin posted a touching photos with her children, selfies at the gym, and spending time with friends. Her best friend, Claudia Brown, said, Rachel was so unbashedly herself, witty and genuine, brilliant, daring, and headstrong. Her spirit would light up the room and her smile was contagious. She went on to say in a Facebook post after Rachel's death, her faith was so strong, stating also that Rachel Morin had been divorced and was a fierce protector of her children and loved them with all her heart. Rachel had worked as a model and appeared on the cover of Owl Magazine, Hartford Community College's student publication, where her brother John Morin worked as a technical director. Her new boyfriend, Richard Tobin, described Rachel as sweet kind and a very special woman according to his a facebook a post also the couple became official august 1st of 2023 that actually might explain why rachel was still on those uh, dating websites multiple uh, websites but we'll discuss that in a moment let me touch on three uh, key points in rachel morin's a story and then we will talk about each of those key points but we're going to mainly focus on the DNA in the video that came out from California but still haven't named a suspect but we know Rachel Morin was found deceased on the Ma and Pa Trail August 6th of 2023 and her sister says she did not go willingly this is one of the key points that is bothersome the man who described grisly state of Rachel Morin's body never actually saw it, the sheriff said. Like, who would even say something like that then? Let's jump over real quick and see the man that claims that his stepdaughter found Rachel. Go back to the day that Rachel went missing, August 5th, 2023. And that afternoon, she went to the Glow Bronzing Studio on Red Pump Road in Bel Air, Maryland for her daily spray tan at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do people really get spray tanned every day? I have never heard of that, but then again, I am not a spray tan a kind of person. When she left a glow, she told the girls that she was headed to the gym. Her and her boyfriend went to the gym. He dropped her off around a five o'clock at her house, and she went up for a walk on the Ma and Pa Trail. She was actually a last spotted somewhere between 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. that night. Richard Tobin then goes on to say that Rachel had been missing since 7 p.m. and he and her children began looking for her around 9 p.m. He then made an official report to police around midnight. She's been missing since 7. She went on a hike and me and the kids have been trying to find her since 9. Richard Tobin wrote in a now deleted Facebook comment. Social media definitely pinpointed 
Richard Tobin as being the one that probably did the horrendous uh, just people are just I mean so what was this murdered at first sight like you just see someone we'll get into that in a moment a lot of the Facebook users actually speculated that Richard Tobin who publicly admitted to being in recovery may have been at an AA meeting at the Mon house at the time Rachel disappeared well we all know that anonymity is the spiritual foundation to the Alcoholics Anonymous. So now, the man that made these comments regarding finding Rachel. Trigger warning for this part. This is definitely hard for me to read, and it's definitely probably going to be hard to listen. Rachel Morin was found deceased on a hiking trail on August 6th, 2023. She was naked and beaten so brutally that the right side of her face was gone. The stepfather of a friend who discovered her remains acclaimed. Michael Agabrizeski told the Daily Mail that her head had been smashed in with a rock. Now, how would you know that? The information that I'm reading to you right now actually comes out of the New York Post. And then he says and explains the harrowing moment his stepdaughter Cecilia found her 37-year-old friend in a drain tunnel on the Ma and Pa Heritage Trail in Bel Air, Maryland. He goes on to say there was a 15 to 20 foot blood trail, so it looked like she had been beaten and dragged into that position. It said Michael Gabrzeski, who claimed he was there at the time Rachel Morin was found. It looked like the killer was trying to erase her identity. The right side of her face was gone. I cannot, my gosh, there are some sick people in this world. And my thoughts and prayers go out to Rachel, her children, her family, and her friends. Michael's description was allegedly corroborated by another source close to the family who told the outlet that the injuries were so horrific that there won't be an open casket at her funeral. Michael Gabrzeski, who is a Native American tracker, said that he, Cecilia, and her friend Evan were looking for Rachel near the trail's drainage tunnels after noticing disturbance in the ground. Cecilia was the first person to see her. She was hyperventilating really, really bad. And then the police told her to sit down. So the Hartford County Sheriff's Office said Michael Gabrzeski has no first-hand knowledge of the crime scene and didn't come with an eyesight of the crime scene when Rachel's body was found. The Independent reported. The Sheriff's Office also said he did not find Rachel. And police have yet to confirm Rachel Morin's official cause of death as of September 11th, 2023. And the local sheriff previously said the incident was clearly not an accidental death. This is foul play on the part of another, said Hartford County Sheriff Jeff a dollar. Now, let's jump over to this ring cam footage from the DNA that was found on Rachel that links a man that was caught on a ring cam in California. I'm actually going to play the rest of the sheriff's interview, but let me just say, according to the Baltimore Banner, the Los Angeles Police Department said the suspect whose DNA was found on Rachel Morin was involved in a March 26, a 2023 break-in and assault of a young child in South Los Angeles. The assault was not of a sexual nature, but investigators don't want to disclose any more details about what occurred in the house at this time. Let's finish listening to the sheriff. Uh, Hartford County Sheriff uh, Jeff Gaylor uh, is joining me live now. Sheriff, I mean, amazing work. I knew you guys were going to start making progress on this. Um, we knew we just had to wait. I first want to ask you about that arm, because I noticed the arm from the beginning. What can you tell us about who that person is, how you were able to identify that person? Sure, Brian. And again, thanks for having us on tonight. And again, the opportunity to send this message. Uh, we're still looking for this suspect and any opportunity we have to go um, national uh, and, and share this because we don't know where this guy's laying his head at night. You know, we need people to look at that video, look at that picture and help us identify him. Uh, but indeed, you know, from the beginning, uh, when we had the video, a lot of questions came in about who's closing the door, whose arm is that? And I actually misspoke. Uh, I believe it was a female's arm who was in the, 
the, the victim of the assault there. Um, it's actually a male's arm, and uh, investigators investigators had it right. I just had it wrong in one of the earlier interviews. Um, but it is a male's arm, and when our investigators were in uh, Los Angeles. They interviewed many people uh, in reference to uh, the, what happened out there and tied back to our case. Um, and we were able to speak to that individual as well. And he, he is not a in any way tied to the case as a suspect at all. Uh, but he also was not able to provide us an identity of that suspect. So was there a female victim and also a male victim in the assault? Uh, there were Oh, the male subject was not assaulted, um, but there were other people in the residence. And again, I have to be very careful on what I speak about. Los Angeles is still investigating that home invasion, that assault that occurred out there, and that's an open case for that agency. And uh, just as I wouldn't want them to, you know, be speaking out of turn or incorrectly about our case, you know, I have to be careful in, in how far I go with what I say. But we have spoken to that person, and with hopes that he might be able to uh, lead us to an identity uh, to match the person in the video. That was not fruitful um, at, at this point in time so far. It, it's interesting the way he closes the door. It like almost looks so calm. Uh, and I know you have to be careful what you say, and we don't want to do anything to you know impede the investigation here. But uh, I mean, did did he know the person? Was he able to give you more information about who this person is? No, he did not know him. Um, at least what yeah, that's what our investigators have found out so far. That they, the people in the residence did not know. The, the person who had committed the home invasion and the assault there. Um, but thankfully, they were able to uh, uh, preserve this video evidence or else, you know, because this happened sometime before our case, uh, you know, way back earlier in the year. And thankfully, without this video, we wouldn't have uh, this image of our suspect, who, again, is tied back to our homicide here in Harper County, uh, Maryland, because of the DNA. Do you know how many people were in the house, Sheriff? I, I do, but again, uh, it's, it's more than just the two, but I'm not going to go into uh, great detail on something that's not our investigation. Fully. I want to ask you, number two, about this other development that we've learned about that you actually went out or one of your investigators actually went out to Chicago um, as part of this investigation. What, what can you tell us about that, Sheriff? Sure. We, uh, information that we learned, our investigators learned out in Los Angeles, led us to another interview that we wanted to do in Chicago, and we wanted to do that in person, you know, um, cold without the uh, person that we were coming, not of a suspect. He, he is not a suspect in any way, uh, but we still wanted to interview that individual cold and try to get facts from him. And I, I have to say that, you know, that, uh, again, that person, we spoke to him. He is not a suspect, uh, but he also was not able to help us identify that person. I am confused. I am happy the fact that he did not do anything to that a little girl in California. So where does the DNA come from? Underneath the nails? I don't understand the Chicago thing, the guy's arm. So this guy just broke into a house with more than two other people in there, assaulted a child, and then he ends up in Bel Air, Maryland with his DNA on Rachel Morin. Then they fly out to Chicago and the sheriff basically says the arm in the video is the guy in Chicago. So what am I missing? And I really hope that this is not going to turn into the Delphi where you had the picture of the man, but it took over five years to find him. I am going to go dig and see what I can find as far as any updates off of the news. Just something like, please help me understand this one. I just do not understand how sick people are. So did he know her? off of a website or did he just end up in Bel Air, Maryland from Los Angeles and she was at the wrong place at the wrong time? Tell me your thoughts, guys. And with that, it is a wrap. Everybody, thank you for coming in. Please make sure you click that like, the subscribe, and the bell for notification so you do not miss the next time we drop a video and or a go live everybody i have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay a vigilant i am out